Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cowboy B. I wanted to show you the Triton trailer walking plate install that we, uh, for our new WJP traction mat for your Triton trailer. Everybody's fell off one of these before. Everybody slipped. I had a little piece of mat there, as you can see, but it's a simple DIY. We wanted to get in here and get it right. Don't need a lot of tools. Need a heat gun, some alcohol, and some rags. And you're gonna need like something to roll it to put pressure on it, like a, a jack handle or a rolling pad as you get from this uh, auto parts store. So we're gonna use what we got here at the shop because I know that's how it is at home. Not gonna use like any specialty tools. Everything you can get your hands on is a quick DIY and they'll protect you from falling off in the water, hurting your leg, slipping, especially if you got bare feet. Some people just glue carpet down on here. That's ugly. We want you to have the right stuff and shop with Wet Jet Performance to give you that traction mat look. Cause if you look up there, we got neon yellow traction mats down here. I'm a red type of guy, so we're gonna go with red, but you can make everything match. We know everybody likes to match. Everybody likes to stand out. Wet Jet Performance can make that happen for you. So let's get to the DIY. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do it. So my walking plank is a little bit dirty, but you know, we're just gonna clean that off. So just wipe everything off. Get all the debris off of it that you can. And this is alcohol in here. We're gonna spray it all down. Make sure this is squeaky clean. Get the surface as clean as you can. And for something like this, if you remove carpet or something, you're gonna have to use some Gooby Gone or something like that to get up this stick, this sticky residue. But if I spray it here, we'll leave it alone. It'll probably come up when I come back to wipe it. If not, we'll use some Gooby Gone. We'll take this wet jet sticker off. See the adhesive comes off right there. And if you think about it, on our DIY traction mats, you know our glue has to be good if it's sticking to metal. So this trailer's been in the water a lot. That sticker stays on here. These traction mats have stayed on here. Well, I just had something up here for a little grip from a sea dude that we took off. We took off the traction mats and I just put it on here to see if it'll stick. But it's been through water, been through everything. I'm gonna get a little razor blade, some gooby gone to get this off so we can get a nice clean surface right here. And I'm gonna show you what the DIY traction mats look like. All right, we got the wonderful wet jet traction mats, our new wet deck, all cut in-house here in Texas. And voila, looks beautiful, looks awesome. We're not gonna slip and fall and bust our butts in the day. Nobody wants to go to the hospital. And just wanna show you, it's all 3M adhesive, so you know it's gonna to stick to this bad boy like no other. But here it's about 60 degrees, and you wanna install this somewhere around 70, 75 or higher, so that way you get the best curing and contact. So the best way we got that today is we are going to use a heat gun and heat it up in sections and go all the way down and stick it. So ours are right at eight feet, so the way you wanna install it here, is move it to the back and make sure you measure it up because you're gonna have about that much of bare space in the back and that in the front. The rest of it's all covered, ready to go. It'll be easy to peel up if you ever wanna take it off. We have these in four or five different colors. You go on the website, but let's install this one and see how it looks at the end. And now what we're doing is gonna heat up this section of plank. A little cool. But if it's on a summer day, just sit the trail outside. The metal will be hot when you get out there. You don't need it smoking hot. You just need it warm. So we'll probably do about a foot at a time. It's eight feet total. All right, what you want to do is go ahead and start peeling back your 3M adhesive backing. Peel it back. Make sure you pick up the one end and stick it about 
a thumbnail away from the beginning. And then slowly go down and start pressing it. We've already heated up the plank. I can feel it sucking right onto it already. And you pull a little bit more of your 3M. Because if you're by yourself, you want you don't want it to stick nothing. Stick on anything and get out of alignment. So you want to make sure you're real careful and line it up on the edge. And then we'll go back and make sure that it's all pressed down with a roller. But you do this all the way to the edge and I'll show you the end result. All right, we got it all the way down. It's a perfect fit right on the plank. Gives you a couple of little edge on the front and the back. But what you want to do is get you something heavy. It's almost like a paint roller. I'm going to use a, uh, a cardboard roller here that we had in the shop and just roll it out. But if you got a jack handle and you just want to go over it, smooth it all the way down, make sure you get contact all over the plank. And it takes about 24 hours for this to cure and lock down to your plank. And you'll be good to go. All safe walking, no problems at all. And this will be one of our wet deck traction mats for the Triton trailer before we come out with the optional step that goes on the side. All right, we got it on. And I just had this laying in the shop. So we're gonna roll with this. And get it to roll it all the way down. And then you move yourself all the way to the back. In your case, you don't need it to be this long. You just need something so you can move in and apply some pressure and do it all the way down. You can mash it with your hands, but doing it with the roller is a lot better. So if you, like you say, if you got a jack handle or anything there, make this job simple. It's not supposed to cost you a lot of money. So if you don't have a heavy roller, we have a roller that we use for C-Deck, but I didn't use it on purpose today because I wanted you to show that you can do this at home. So I don't want you guys to spend a lot of money. You already spent your money on this, so I can give you a pro tip to help you out. That looks good. WetJet Performance got you safe and secure. And it looks dope on your Triton trailer. And if you have red traction mats, it matches. In this case, if you had two neon yellows, you get your neon yellow mat, it all matches. Everything looks great. So this has been another awesome product from WetJet Performance and another great DIY from your man, Cowboy B. Peace.